Welcome to The Infected. This is another one of those games I love playing. I've been playing this one for quite some time. I'm just now coming back to it. Um, they had a big update on this game, um, but the update was more on the lines of the uh, building aspect of it. They did add a few things to it. Now in this game, it's a survival game. Oh, where are we at? Uh, we're way up here. Is this where I want to be? Oh, yes. This is where I want to be. Now, this is the map. You hit M on the keyboard for it. And this is exactly where I was hoping to end up. There is a lake. This is actually copper area. There's a lake right over here where there's nice little fishies in the lake. This is Oh, by the way, this is a crafting survival game. You can get fish out of the lake. This lake is sort of a sucky lake for fish, but um, oh, there's a bird there. But you, when you first spawn in here, you want to pick up everything, sticks, rocks, anything you can pick up. Now, oops, uh, let's see. Oh, man, it's been a while. All right, what, what's the button? What's the button? What is your crafting button? Uh, hold F to view the tutorial. Okay. Okay. You want to gather one stone, one stick, craft a... Okay, we did the stone, the stick. You want to craft an axe, a blade, plant fiber, all the way down the line. Is it C? No, C is to crouch. Oh, man. Uh... I, I for inventory. Okay, now you have your backpack. This is the food they give you. They give you a little bit of water. They give you some meat stew. This is your outside of your backpack. This is your construction inventory for your walls, ceilings, pretty much self-explanatory. Your placeables. Some of this stuff you have to have tech for. Um... We can make a saw bench, the anvil, but we need certain materials for it. Um, circular saw bench, we need uh, technology, which we'll have to go to the towns, which we'll do later on, and so forth and so on. And then this is your itempedia, Wikipedia, whatever you want to call it. This will tell you everything you need to know, your different resources, how to make the different foods, and whatnot. Um, but this is your crafting area. We picked up some stones, put a stone on here, tells you to craft a blade. Now if we put a stick on here, and a stone, eh, don't do nothing. Um, we can go over here to Wikipedia. We want to make an axe, hover over it, takes one stick, one small stone. So we can go back to craft, put a stone here, put a stick here, and it'll tell us up here we can craft an axe. Now that automatically puts it in our backpack at slot one. So if we get out of that by hitting the I button, hit number one, boom, we have an ax handy. We can start chopping down trees. This actually is the area I was hoping we were gonna get spawned in. Because we are going to build, oops, come on, get close enough to chop this. And when you chop these down, you're gonna automatically pick up bark into your backpack and plant fiber. Now everything in this game is usable. Now as you see we're chopping down and we're getting all kinds of lumber on the ground. Now on the right hand side you'll notice oh, you can't move the mouse to it. You'll have this bar with the red and the uh, purple and the blue. That is your health bars. And that is how you're doing. The very bottom one that is like a tan color, that is for the sun. Let's see, we are going to build a uh, construction, no, nope, placeable. We are going to build, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Uh, storage, power, uh, placeable. Yeah, it was placeable. I want to build a saw bench. Oh, yeah, right there. 
Now, these are a must. We want at least three of these. Now, you see they're in a like a ghost. You hit tab to get out of that. Now, these take, if you get close to it, takes four wooden logs. You just pick these things up and then place them in there. The reason I said these are a must, these will make us wooden planks. And that noise you hear is a raccoon in the back. Those are a pain in the rump roast. The reason I say these are a must at the get-go is that we need to make a shelter. First day, that's what you want to do is make yourself a small little shelter. Oh, there he goes. Little raccoon. I should have made myself a spear right away. I will sit there and chop down an entire forest of trees and just keep chopping. That The second bar on our right, that is your stamina. Now, these trees will eventually despawn, but it does take a while. And unfortunately, this is only a one-player game, which really sucks. This would be great to have two people. As you can see, they're already making us some uh, planks. Oh, can't pick up anymore. Come on, come on. Now, we can also build, go back into our building menu, and we can do foundations. Now, it doesn't really matter where you build. I mean, we're going to actually take over this whole area. I'm just going to, for starters, build a small little 4x4 four four area. But like I said, we are going to take over this entire area. And that bird that's hopping around, we really should make a bow. I'm really lousy with a bow. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that. <laughs> now, one of your objectives is... Oh, I thought I'd seen a wolf. I was going to say, oh, it's too soon for a wolf. There's wolves, there's bears, there's foxes. You know what? I'm going to have to do that. Now, if you hover over this... Take your mouse, right-click it, you can harvest. Now, these smaller ones, you can harvest that too. Now, we can pick all these up. And that'll automatically put them in our backpack. I'll pick those up too. And I will show you something neat for that too. After we get some more logs going. The more we get, the better. Now, what we want to do is build us some storage for some of that. Go to placeables, go to storage, and you have these. Firewood, plank storage, um, log storage, stick storage. I'm going to go for stick storage first because we're going to need a lot of sticks. Okay. Nope. Ran out of sticks. That's all right. Sticks are not really that important just yet, but I want to make sure I got those. Oops. Got enough of them. Where to go? Where to go? Okay. All right, now we're going to grab a few of these, put them in our inventory. Now you got to watch your weight too. Above all those stats is your weight. No matter how much you level up in this game, you can only hold 75 pounds.
And once you get encumbered, you just get slowed down. Uh, trust me, you do not want to be slowed down. Not when you got a bear on your tail or a wolf. They will kill you quickly. Oh, and you can move these. Some things in this game you can move, some things you can't. So these can be moved. I don't know if you can, as you can see when I hover over it, at the bottom left where it says delete or remove or move. I don't know if you can move them when they got stuff in them. No. Okay, we're going to need a bed soon. Oh, uh, yeah, I got them turned the wrong way. Don't matter. Most of the time, it don't matter to me. Let's face them one direction or the other. Oh, there's one of them logs that uh, got away. And all these trees will eventually come back. And anybody who, know, who knows me knows I'm primarily an arc player. But I love any kind of survival game. And anytime you see these, pick them up, these stones. You're going to need a lot. Lots of stones. I thought I heard some. There's deer in this. There's sheep in this. Pretty much everything is usable. Now I'm watching my water. That's the light blue one. That is very valuable. I'm going to have to make a stove soon or a campfire. Now you can make more of these if you want. At the beginning, I only usually make three. I always hope that when I hit the first town, I can get the tech for the, uh, um, what do you call it? The blah, blah, blah. tongue tied. The saw bench, because that, oh, that makes your life so much easier. You just keep putting stacks of uh, lumber in it, and it, it just keeps cutting them and cutting them. Oh, it's just really so nice. The reason I'm making a, cutting all these all the way to the uh, lake, that lake is going to be sort of incorporated into our build. Because a lake is going to be valuable to us. As you can see, our weight is slowly going up from all the fiber and the thatch we keep picking up. Or, or thatch. The bark. Oh, that one won't take any more. That one's completely full. Let's see, we got one more here to put in. How many more does that need? Oh, that's all the logs. Okay. Now we can make a a stack for that. Oh, see I'm encumbered. Need to make storage boxes. A lot of people put their storage boxes inside. For the time being I'll stack them outside because you can move a storage box. One that's completely full. Alright. Now storage boxes are made from planks. That's why I try and get make these things right away. Placeables. Storage. Right there. And you can turn these things any way you want. I just put a couple storage boxes down here. And these are stackable. I've had them stacked three high, four high. Doesn't matter. They take eight planks. So, more of these things you got. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot I had a bunch of these on me. And your backpack is extendable, by the way. You can make your backpack bigger. 
but you need a few items first. Uh, let's see, let's put all the stones in here and stuff just to get it out of our inventory for right now. These we're going to throw on the ground real quick. That's actually good firewood. Oh, give me that back. I want that. I'm going to make, make some sticks out of that. Oh. Harvest. Because when sticks are very important. All right, I got a little bit more lumber here. And oh, give me. I think I. Oh, it's still on me. Okay. What we need to do is look up spear real quick. Uh, weapons. And right there. Oh, that's a bolt. Uh, no, where's spear? Oh, right there. You need a. Oh, no, it's a bone shard. Where's regular spear? Stone spear. You need a stone blade, three sticks, and plant fiber. Okay. We hit. Oh. Hit the I button, get out of that. Oh, get these off you. Let's get a few of these. And we got oh, plant fibers put in here. This is your plant fiber. And like I said, I pretty much save everything. You never know when you need it. Okay, what was the recipe on that again? Oh, there's that raccoon right there. <laughs> Weapon. Or the stone spear. It's three sticks and five plant fibers. So we go here. And it's... Oh, no, no, not all them. There's five in there. Hmm. I got three in there? Oh, there it is. Stone spear. All right. Now that automatically got put to number two. Just in case we need it. I should have two right now. But let's go back to chopping. Anything close? Nothing close. No problem. We're going to need some walls on this. Now, if you hit and hold the F button, it'll tell you it's day one and it's 5.56 p.m. Now, there's still more stuff in our quest that needs to be done, but... And you can just hit the button and throw those all right there. I don't need to make... Well, actually, I do need to make planks, but... Um, actually, what's left in our quest real quick? Let's see. A stone pickaxe. Campfire, find carbs, hunt for protein, build a forge. Forge, as far as I'm concerned, is really, really important. Okay. I don't know if we can hunt him down real quick. Let's see. Ah! They are quick. A bow would be a lot better. I'm wasting time. <laughs> okay, everybody get a good laugh out of that one. Let's go ahead and make a pick. Okay. Wikipedia. <laughs> Pickaxe right there is one stick, one stone blade, and two plant fibers. Okay, so go back in here. Put our stone in there, get our stone blade. And there, three plant fibers. There you go. Boom, now we have a pick. Good thing about the pick is we want some stone. Now this area here is copper nodes. So hopefully this is not a copper node here, otherwise we're not going to get no stone from it. Good. 
And we'll just pick all these stones up. Oh, we got a copper node out of it anyways. Oh no, I think it's the aluminum one we won't get copper nodes from. Yeah, while we're at it, chop these trees down and get them out of our way. Yeah, so this is not like other games where when we do our quest, we're going to get any kind of bonus. We're going to need a campfire soon. I think I'm going to do that campfire right now. We'll just put our campfire out here. Uh, campfire, campfire, placeables. That should be under food. Campfire. Because your campfire is going to need... And that's eight firewood. Now the firewood is not these, it's the smaller ones. That is these. I'll pick those up too. No, I didn't want to pick that up. Needs eight of them. Where did the little stick stands go right behind me? Harvest that big one. Harvest this big one. It looks like we're not going to have cover before the end of the night. Put those little ones in there. Four more. We got them in here. One more. Do we got one more over here? Yes, we do. Pick all these other ones up. Waste not, want not. Okay. Now, let's see. Do we have any more in there? Yes, we do. We got these. Put that in the center. Put that in the center. All right. Oh, that's why we're all botched up. Now, this is actually clean water. Or is it empty? That's clean water. We can drink that. Now it's empty. So what we need to do is run over here to the water. As soon as you get to the water, you look in, it says add water. Take your canteen. Now your canteen is full of dirty water. And you run back. All these things that are ghosted, we just have to rebuild them. And add water. Now that bucket holds 200. This only holds 60. So it's a pain in the butt because you have to keep running back and forth. That's why I said we're, we're going to incorporate our base fairly close to here. Later on, we'll have uh, bigger canteens. Where we don't have to keep running back and forth. Okay, now we just do one more trip. Now there is farming involved in this too, which is pretty cool. You can make custom recipes and that. Okay, this will be the last trip. We're running low on light. Sorry about the darkness here. It does get pretty dark at here. Okay, 180. Put it back on here, and then we will light this since it's not raining. I'll pick this one up and that one. Put a little bit more fire on it. Oh, it didn't light. Why not? Why didn't you light? It's not raining. Can't start a fire. Well, oh, it's not raining. Okay. Typically, if it's raining, you can't start a fire. So what we need to do is, let's see, well, let's see where is that at? Other. Oh, yeah, now it's raining. You build one of these little canopies over your campfire. And let's see what it takes. 
this thing takes four logs. Very simple. And that noise you just heard was a wild pig. They do not attack unless you attack them. But that is a good source of meat. We could actually throw the meat on top of the, uh, the campfire and cook it that way. And that'll be a good source of protein. Not much in vitamins. Ooh, stone. Let me pick up stone. Alright, now we can light this. We gotta get that dirty water to clean water. Yay, we're gonna have clean water now. Oh, those two are full. Good, good, good. All right, we'll see. We'll work on that, but let's work on this instead because something you definitely need in this game. You need a bed. You need some walls in here, too. Let's go ahead and go construction walls. Now, see, they came up with these fancy designs with the corners. I'm not planning on doing that right now. Oh, that's the inside, I think. I'm not going to do that yet because we're... Yeah, that was an inside wall. I was going to put an inside wall on the outside. We'll put our door right here. Put that face in the right way. I hope so. If not, it's going to look sort of funky. Okay, we just need one door. You could just reuse window walls. Now, there is winter months in this that if you are not prepared, you will freeze to death. Just put some regular walls in on the other side. We'll put our bed in here. Uh, okay. And all these can be upgraded, which is really cool. Okay. Now that we have all those planks. Oh, you know what? We need to get those stones out of us. We have a few extra stones and sticks. And these are bandages, by the way, so when we get our boo-boos. And we're going to get plenty of them. And put those sticks in there for later use. Yeah, we're going to put stairs on that or jump in every day. But you got to be kidding me. We can only hold four? Oh, because I had all that stuff on me. I see when I'm doing this, I always look at my weight. Okay. Okay, four, four. And the only thing we're really going to need is logs. Should have enough planks. No, we ran out of planks. I can't believe that. thought we had enough. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put a... Now, you can walk through these, too, by the way. Which also means the wildlife can, too. We forgot to... Let's see. Uh, placeables. Furniture. We need a bed. Because without this, we can't sleep. And sleeping actually will revitalize you. Okay, and that needs six planks. So, sorry about it being so dark. I don't know if I can change the... I mean, that's all. Let's see, video. Yeah, I don't think there's anything for changing the light. Wish there was a gamma on this. So I will, I guess, fast forward this until it gets light out because until I get like a helmet light, it's going to be really hard to see. So I guess I'll just fast forward it until we can get some light. Be back in a bit.
Okay, I ended up working a little bit through the night, got the bed made. We got a little bit of light here. And that raccoon is still around here. Okay, what's left on our quest is finding carbs, hunting for protein, build a forge, and make iron ingots. All right, what do we need for a forge? Because actually the forge, as far as I'm concerned, is the most, uh, let's see, most important thing. Where is forge under other forge? That's right here. It needs 25 small stones, so we're going to need a lot of stones. So let's get the pickaxe out, start harvesting all this, all these rocks. Now the ones that look like this, those are clay. We're not really too concerned with those. We're going to harvest these up. It'll be a lot quicker than trying to pick them up off the ground and finding them. It's a shame when you break them up, they don't automatically get into your inventory. And with harvesting these up, we're actually getting a couple pieces of copper, which we can use later on. There's quite a few boulders around here. We just got to be careful the closer we get to the woods, the closer we're going to get to bears and wolves. It's only day two, so we shouldn't see them yet, but that. <laughs> doesn't mean anything. <coughs> Excuse me. With the luck I have. Oh. oh, yeah. My weight is reduced. Because of... Uh, we'll get rid of bark chips right now. My weight is reduced because of my carbs and everything being down. Oh, let's get rid of this, too. Since everything is low on me right now, I'm going to build some stairs here. Oh, yes, we don't have any walls here, but that's okay. We're going to actually want a couple of these right away. Where's the door on it? Right there. Because the this is the heart and soul of the game. We'll list a couple of these. Okay, I think we had some more stone in the box out here. Yes, we did. If I can get one of these going. And what you do is you will we'll take these stones. We'll get rid of this copper. Boy, we're getting some good copper right now. All right, this jumping is going to be driving me nuts. Yes, first one's done. The extra stones, they'll go in the top here. Uh, we need something for fuel, and we can actually use the bark chips for fuel if we want. Might as well burn them because we really don't need those right now. Let's see, what does 100, uh, first, what does 25 get us? Not much, we'll throw 100 in there. Now, that will turn into iron fragments. And it won't take long. Let's get some more stone. Yep. Free one on the ground. And a couple more logs. We'll throw these over here. We will actually turn them into firewood. Yeah, I made a mistake last night. I made another stick holder when I was trying to make a plank holder. Oh. Now I know our problem. We're out of protein. That's why we're down to 50 pounds. So that raccoon would have been good. Should have tried to kill that boar. But with this crummy uh, spear, I don't think we could have. I'll actually just jump in over here. Let's see. Yeah, those are almost done. I don't want clay yet. I'll 
like that. You know what? I gotta, we gotta find some food. I can show you what some things look like. Let's go on to the spear. Just in case. There is some things you can pick up off the ground. Yeah, when I first started playing it, there was no such thing as roads in this game. Uh, and I don't see any... Yeah, I don't know why nothing's growing over here yet. Usually there's cucumbers, there's corn, onions, melons that you can find growing in these flat areas that would give us vitamins, minerals, all that good stuff. And I don't see any, and I don't know if it's because of we just started the new game. And it's not spawned in yet. Because when you harvest it, we'll also get a seed. Oh, I don't remember breaking the stone over here. That's what that looks like. It's done. I'll take it. That's a lot of stone. Yeah, the meat will give us protein, but it also will dehydrate us a little bit. Oh, you know what? Fishies. Where'd you go? You gotta watch on the upper left of your screen is a oxygen. See, this lake is not really that big, so it makes it a little harder to fish. Plus, this water is really murky. Oh, missed him. Plus, I had to change my resolution a little bit. Ah, I got one. Missed him. That'll give us some carbs. Oh, come on. That one I should have had. I got gypped. And I think they call the vampires in this thing vambies. Come on, there's a big old tuna in here I want. I mean, these little ones will be good. It's good protein. All right, come on. Oh, I need one more fish. This little lake. I mean, it's good for a quickie. <laughs> the lake over near the aluminum uh, mine is much, much better. Oh, I'm drowning. Got it. Okay. Get some stone while we're here. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at our weight. We picked up stone already. Yeah, put two in there. Now, these copper ingots you can throw in there, I won't bother yet because of the room factor. Now, these are your, uh, what do you call them, iron fragments. Takes five of them to make one iron ingot. Okay, now, this is what you do with the, oh, wrong button, with your fishies. Throw them on the ground. Then hover over them and harvest. We are going to harvest both of these. Because we, we really don't want to dig into our ration jet. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, all I got is one stick on me. Give me a break. 
Okay, and then when you see all the little fishies, you got these little spots on the edge for putting the fish. Now, if you don't cook the fish quick enough, it will go bad. It spoils, which actually is fine because if it spoils, spoiled meat will turn into biofuel. This one is for, oops, that's just for stacking. Because these are all full, actually, of planks. The only thing we need to do is put logs into them. Which, didn't I just see, oh, I just threw logs on there. It doesn't really take long to cook these, and I need that. That cooked? Yes, cooked fish. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Eat that one. As you can see how my protein now is going up. Protein and energy. That one's still raw. My vitamins are not going up, but we need to start finding some, uh, now we, st oh, yeah, some cucumbers, melons. Oh, we need water in us. Yeah, so you got that little dizzy thing going there. He's like, oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, is it empty? Doggone it. Gotta refill it again. It's the only thing I, I don't like about this little canteen. Hold 60 water, drink it. It's empty. You don't get much water. All right, we're going to need some more stone because we're going to start making some iron ingots real quick. And I like to get that sheep. Oh, we're still only holding 50 pounds, though. That's a sort of a bummer. That's because of our vitamins. We have a vitamin deficiency. Yeah, see, the game can be pretty rough. Um, let's take that one box that's already made. Now, you see, there's stuff already in this box. We can move it, even with stuff in it. Um, we're just going to place that right there for now. Oh, those are done. And we, oops, take those out of there. Put two more in. Oh, we didn't put anything. Oh, what am I doing? I don't have any wood on me. I gotta get get some lumber in here. Let's get these stones in here. That's why I put this in here. We need to get some lumber and keep those two running. Because I think we need iron ingots for... Oh, and this axe is almost broke. We're going to need to make a new axe soon. But we need iron ingots to make the uh, workbench. Yeah, we only get a few more wax out of this baby. Yep, I think that was it. Oh, no. Yep, that was it. Okay. Now, we're going to need firewood with this, so we just click harvest. 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 On all these big ones. I mean, we do need the big logs to finish the walls, but... I mean, I'm more concerned with trying to get that lead going, or lead, the uh, iron, real quick. I think it takes five of these to fill it up. So 
since we don't have don't have charcoal yet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like that. Okay. Make sure this one's full. Okay, let's see. Boom. Boom. Now, we got a full stack of five. We can throw that in there right now. But I'm going to keep going with keeping these stacking until we have more than enough. Oh, you know what? Let's keep that, throw that bark in here. Less weight on us. And we're going to get all this over here. Uh, can I get all these sticks? No. Uh, let's unload those sticks. I think that's what's holding me up here. Uh, let's put that right here. Yeah, I got that one on me. Let's see. Let's make a placeable for firewood. Firewood placeable right here for now. Oh, need sticks. I'll just grab some new ones. So we can unload all this and get it loaded. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, you, you sort of move real quick. You gotta be kidding me. I'm one shy. I'll just grab it from here. To try and get as much done as possible. Oh, you know what? I want to move that over real quick, too. See, if you got something sitting in your inventory right there, it really ruins your stacking. Yeah, Birdie, so I'm going to be getting you guys soon. I'm going to have to start playing around with bow and arrow again. I don't want to do that on film. <laughs> Even though, yeah, you guys are get a real good laugh out of it. Because I, I am really crappy with the bow and arrow. I can move those over there too. Try and organize this. Now the reason we want those little sticks is we are going to be making um um what, what do you call it? Pointy little walls. <laughs> Spear traps or whatever you want to call them to protect us. Because I think it's day three. These zombies are gonna come. A calling. Oh yeah, might as well put those in there. Let's move this over. Let's move you over here. So we have you next to us here. And we want to make sure we got some kind of protection. Oh, did I empty that out? No. Because they are relentless. They don't take no for an answer. Oh, oh, eh, I wanted it in the walls. Oh, yeah, I need to make a new one of them. I need a stone and a stick. And it's becoming nighttime again. My energy energy's still fine. But you know what? I'm going to leave you guys here. We're on day two. You get the jit. Why is these things out? Are they out? Is it out? Cause it, oh, because it's got no roof and it's probably listed as raining. But I'm going to leave you guys here. I mean, we ran this a uh, little longer than I wanted to for uh, first episode. But that's pretty much how the effect it is for the, when you first start off. You build yourself a little, like I call it, a crap shack. And next episode, we'll start doing some fortification on the outside. But I'm going to do some work off camera with harvesting because that's sort of boring. I'm going to deforest all this and make us some wood stacks and try and get us all set. But until the next episode, uh, you guys have fun gaming and uh, I'll see you there.
Bye-bye for now.